dad, you're playing Brazil. If you score, do something special. I was like, what? I mean, and you're always so boring when you celebrate, you know? So, he so said that yeah, too. he said that to me. <laughs> Hi football fans, I'm Layla and today I'm meeting a legend of the game whose imaginative goal celebration is as iconic as the view behind me. Brian, the legend Laudrup, welcome to Dubai Thank on you. top of the world at the Aura Sky Pool. What a view. Breathtaking. I mean, it's difficult to put this into words, but uh, no, I'm, I'm speechless. It's really special now, and there's a lot of places here in Dubai I'd love to take you. But before all of that, I wanted to give you a little gift that you may recognize. Yeah. A replica of that oh. 98 shirt. What a beauty. <laughs> I mean, that brings a lot of memories back to me, I have to say. I mean, it was... 98 was something that stands out for me. Being in France and playing all these great teams, um, was well, something I dreamed about since I was a, a young boy. If you can walk us through this incredible goal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it came out, on, out of nothing really. I mean, I remember uh, one of my teammates, Martin Jurgensen, he wanted to have a shot, a goal, and, and it was blocked, went into the air. And I think uh, Roberto Carlos thought at that moment, no, I, I have to do something spectacular here. So he made a scissor kick and, and actually missed it and it just fell right down, you know, to my foot. I just felt in that moment, I was so confident that I knew that if, if I hit it immediately, the goalkeeper won't stand the chance. And it went straight into the top corner. And I was like, oh my God. And then we saw a celebration as iconic as the goal itself. Tell me, was it planned? On the night before the game, uh, my son phoned me up and he said, Dad, you're playing Brazil. If you score, do something special. So I felt, I was like, what? I mean, and you're always so boring when you celebrate, you know? So, mm -hmm. he so said that yeah, he said that to me. So I, I, <laughs> went back, I, yeah, I went back to my room and I was, I was you know, thinking about what to do. And, and then it, it hit me. I, I watched uh, Roberto Di Matteo, the uh, Italian midfielder playing for Chelsea back then. Um, doing something similar uh, with the rest of his teammates. So it was, it was planned, definitely. And, um, and I thought maybe I could, I could do something like that, but even make it more relaxed. Well, that wonderful celebration, it, it's making me think of all the places in Dubai where you can relax, because we have some incredible beaches here. We have a lot to show you. So let's go check out our next location. Let's go. We were teased with this beautiful view from Aura Sky Pool, and now we're here. West Palm Beach, Palm Jumeirah, what do you think? Oh, I think it's stunning. Do you think Denmark can go all the way? What are their chances? Oh, this year? It's a good question. I think, you know, with Denmark reaching the, the semi final in the Euros uh, and now playing this cup, I mean, they have got a tremendous team, I have to say, a great manager. They hit the balance between experience and raw talent, which is quite unique. And I think for a small country like Denmark, we are looking at one of the most talented teams we've seen for many, many years. What would it mean to Denmark and you if they do go all the way? I think now not being a player anymore, you're a fan. I mean, I'm a fan of Danish football now. I'm a fan of football, to yeah. be honest. But obviously with Denmark playing and the way they play the game, that's that's the most important thing for me because they really want to entertain. I can feel the excitement going yeah. through you. And if they do, how will you celebrate? I'll say I'll do like I did in 98 <laughs> and say I'll go that way. I love yeah. it. So Brian, here we are in our last location. We've celebrated Dubai's spectacular views. We've seen your iconic celebration. And now we're walking right where fans from across the world will descend for the biggest event in world of football. And speaking about fans, you can actually feel them, see them in front of you. I mean, from various parts of the world, celebrating. Now, Brian, I must ask you, because I know you've played in front of fans and cultures from all across the world. And as we stand here and imagine this place full, are there particular fan groups that you loved playing in front of? I have to point out that the Danes, you know, the, the Roligans as we call them, they will be out in numbers, I have to say, and we'll be celebrating. And now that you describe yourself as more of a fan, not playing anymore, how did game nights go down at your place? 
I enjoy it with my wife. I enjoy watching all the, the details, you know, the tactics, the, the spectacular, you know, technique, and that's the way I, I love it. It's a very pundit way to watch it. Nobody's exactly. watching me, I'm focused. No, absolutely focused. I love it. Well, now that the tournament is just around the corner, it's time to say goodbye from the Ain Dubai. Thank you so much for everything. Football fans, we look forward to seeing you for an unforgettable experience right here in Dubai, where the world celebrates.